hi there. My name is Adam Cohen uh, from the Abrams Pew Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And on behalf of my co-authors, it's my uh, pleasure to present our Trials in Progress abstract uh, titled Sequential T-Cell Engagement for Myeloma, the STEM Trial, a Phase II Study of Sevastimab Consolidation Following DCNA CAR T-Cell Therapy. This was presented at ASH 2023. Just to start with a little bit of background, uh, we know that despite uh, very high response rates, BCMA-directed CAR T-cells are not curative for late-line uh, relapse refractory multiple myeloma patients. And resistance mechanisms may include poor persistence or function of the infused CAR T-cells, as well as potentially a decrease or even in some cases loss of BCMA expression on the myeloma cells. Sevastimab is a T-cell engaging bispecific antibody that targets FCRH5, which is another antigen expressed by myeloma cells, and this antibody has demonstrated activity in relapse refractory myeloma. So we hypothesize that consolidating BCMA CAR T-cell therapy with Sevastimab may uh, potentially reinvigorate persisting CAR positive T-cells against the residual BCMA positive myeloma cells but also may be able to eliminate residual BCMA low or negative myeloma cells by redirecting patients' endogenous T cells against FCRH5, and that this would lead to improved rates of sustained mRNA negativity and then translate into more durable responses. In addition, we hypothesize that an MRD-directed fixed duration of therapy may limit the risk of infections and other complications from this approach. And so this is a single center prospective investigator initiated study. It's uh, sponsored by the University of Pennsylvania with a uh, study drug and funding from Genentech. We're doing the minimal each testing by next gen sequencing by adaptive clonoseq. There was a safety run in for the first 69 patients to establish the optimal target dose for Sevastimab in this setting. And Sevastimab is given as an IV infusion every three weeks for eight cycles. And then patients have a repeat marrow for MRD assessment. If they're MRD negative complete response, they stop at that point. If not, they get another eight cycles for a total of 16, but then stop. And the study opened in July 2023, but we don't have data yet available. So this is just a, an abstract to describe the uh, rationale and details of the study. Key eligibility criteria are relapse refractory myeloma patients who received the commercial BCMA CAR T cell product, uh, at this point, either Itacel or Siltacel six to 10 weeks prior to enrollment. Uh, they had to meet the current FDA approved label for these products, which is at least four prior lines with an image PI and CD38 antibody. They have to have stable disease or better after CAR T cells, they can't have progressed. They had to have adequate hematologic function and renal function and good performance status. And the key exclusion criteria listed here include prior high grade CRS or ICANs, any prior um, HLH or macrophage activation syndrome or any prior Parkinsonism, autoimmune disease, active infection, and patients who received an out-of-spec or experimental CAR product are not eligible. So this is really the key slide uh, showing the study schema. You'll note that the uh, CAR T-cells are given as part of standard of care. This is before patients enrolled, so the CAR product is not part of the study, and patients can get either Itacel or Siltacel. They uh, enroll in the study about six to uh, 10 weeks uh, post-CAR, once they've recovered from acute toxicity, with the goal of giving the first dose of Sevastimab around day 70 or 10 weeks. There's a step-up dose of 3.6 milligrams given uh, on day one, and then the full target dose is given on day eight. We're starting at 160 milligram target dose with the ability to uh, decrease that to 132 or even 90 milligrams based on the results of the safety run-in. Patients are hospitalized for observation for 48 hours after the first two doses to monitor uh, for CRS and neurotoxicity. And then subsequently, if they do well, they get the dose given as an outpatient every three weeks. And as you can see, at cycle eight, there's a repeat bone marrow biopsy. If they're MRD negative complete response, they stop. If they're still positive or not in the CR, they get eight more cycles. But the goal is to stop all therapy for all patients by one year. And you can also see uh, with those arrows underneath the line here that we're collecting a number of uh, uh, samples for peripheral blood mononuclear cells serum as well as bone marrow uh, for uh, an extensive correlative analyses as I'll uh, describe in the next slide. The primary endpoint is uh, the frequency of MRD negative complete responses at 12 months post CAR T cells. This is using the 10 to the minus fifth sensitivity that will of course capture the rates of, of uh, MRD negativity at 10 to the minus six as well. So really the goal here is a sustained MRD negative CR 12 months after CAR T cells which has been associated with the best long-term outcome you can see the secondary endpoints of safety, tolerability, feasibility, and other efficacy endpoints, 
exploratory endpoints include the impact of sevastinab on the pre and post treatment frequency and phenotype of both the CAR T cells as well as the non CAR uh, expressing T cells. And then we are looking at the expression of BCMA and FCRH5 pre and post treatment, as well as levels of soluble BCMA and FCRH5, and, and also planning some extensive single cell analyses of the marrow microenvironment, uh, both uh, pre and post uh, CAR T cells and pre and post sevastinab to try to see if there's any obvious predictors of a durable response or not. So to conclude, uh, STEM is an ongoing investigator-initiated phase two trial exploring use of sevastimab as consolidation after BCMA-directed CAR T-cell therapy. Any relapse refractory myeloma patient who got standard of care ida cell or silta cell with stable disease of better may be a candidate. We're looking to screen patients uh, between six to 10 weeks post-CAR therapy with plans to begin sevastimab around day 70, given at a fixed duration for eight or 16 cycles based on the MRD negativity and uh, IMWG response at cycle eight. And the primary endpoint is MRD negative complete response rate of 12 months. And my contact information is here. If anyone has a, a patient uh, who might be a potential candidate, we'd be happy to, to see them to discuss the study. And I'd just like to thank all my co-investigators, members of our clinical research group, and my collaborators at the Center for Cellular Therapies here at Penn. Thanks for your attention. Mm -hmm.